From the people who brought you Salvador and Platoon comes the most controversial film of the year, Hidden Agenda, Belfast, Northern Ireland. A country under siege. Ask me more questions and they'll punch me again. Okay. Two Americans have come to expose the truth. The period of 1969 to 1980, the evidence shows that at least 130 people were killed by the security forces. Get down, get down! But now only one will leave. I'm afraid I got some rather serious news for you. Now it's up to British investigator Peter Kerrigan to stem the international political bombshell. It's one of ours, Peter. Planted by his own government. Why would the police want to kill him? I don't know, but they did. What about the tape he was carrying? There was no tape, sir. That's because you have been meddling in things you meddling? not understand. I am conducting an investigation. How far are you willing to go with this? If you want to bring home the bacon, you first of all have to kill the pig. It's all there. Names, dates. I bugged their meetings. I wanted Sullivan to publicize it. Being an American citizen and a civil rights lawyer, I thought he was beyond reach. You were wrong. You blow the whistle, you're finished. But it was them. Are you going to do anything There's about nothing this? nothing I can do. They've committed murder and Please treason. At 11 o'clock this morning, a man was assassinated down. by orders of British intelligence, and you can do nothing. Hidden agenda. Every government has one. Hidden Agenda, winner of the special jury prize at the 1990 Cannes Film Festival, stars Francis McDormand of Dark Man and Mississippi Burning. Academy Award nominee Brad Dourif of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Child's Play. And Brian Cox, the man who played Hannibal Lecter in Manhunter. The film Siskel and Ebert gave two thumbs up. Chilling and explosive, said the New York Times. A thriller, the acting is beautiful, the suspense is keen, said Playboy magazine. Hidden agenda, when a government seeks revenge, no one is safe.